Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. I probably sound horrible. I, I'm not sick, but uh, I did not sleep last night, and it is currently 10 a.m. Yeah, it's 10 a.m., and I did not sleep last night, so I feel awful, but I'm going to record a video anyway. So uh, today, we have uh, the sequel to that one 1v1 map I made in Fortnite Creative. That I also made a video on, but got like two views. So I don't even know why I'm bothering, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So, uh. Yeah, th this is, uh. This is like the spawn area of Fight Mezim, Chapter 2. Uh, the other one was Fight Mezim. If you don't know who Zim is, why are you watching this video? You, like. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you've already watched my content, because, like, I get no new viewers on any of my videos. Anyway, uh, basically, the, uh, spawn is just a prefab, basically, this is just the, uh, the Citadel from, uh, Fortnite, uh, Chapter, uh, Chapter 4 Season 1, but, I mean, I don't really care, it works, so we have, uh, Fightmism Chapter 2. And, uh, there's a bunch of different weapons. Actually, as far as I'm aware, it's every weapon in the game right now. So, uh, over this way, you'll find the assault rifles, explosives, bows, SMGs, mythics, and exotics. Here's all the ARs. Every, every AR that's not... He, every AR that isn't, uh, a mythic is here in its maximum rarity. Why does that... Okay, I was about to say, wait, why does the heavy look- no, this is the heavy. Okay, I was confused for a second, because the- the blue- what the- why am I still holding- why am I holding an SMG? Why- what? I don't- alright. Well, every, uh, weapon is in this vent- in these vending machines at their maximum available rarity. So if it can only go up to gold, it's gold. If it can only go up to blue, it'll be blue. Like, uh, the drum gun. But, I mean, I I think you should know all the assault rifles and the miniguns here. So we got, uh, what is this? What's... Combat, okay. Uh, MK, uh, regular scar, burst rifle, that's actually the, uh, striker burst. Uh, the other version of the AR, there's the actual burst, that's the, uh, the heavy, sideways, inf uh, infantry, suppressed, sideways minigun, uh, uh, red dot, uh, flapjack, what else we got, okay, that's the havoc, suppressed, uh, makeshift, drum gun, uh, thermal scar, or not thermal scar, uh, thermal scoped AR, uh, that's the ranger. Oh, what was this one? Oh, yeah. No, this one was the one I was looking for. Hammer. The hammer assault rifle. That's what it was. Yeah, so you basically have everything. And the minigun was in there, too. Uh, next is the explosives and bows. I just put them together because, like, there's not that many. So we have, uh, pumpkin launcher, anvil, grenade launcher, egg launcher, uh, shockwaves, grenade launcher, bow. I don't know why that's there. That's an assault weapon. Uh, mechanical bow. That was... I forget what that was. Stink bow. Uh, the crossbows are in there. A recycler, sticky grenade launcher, a regular rocket launcher, shockwave. I think that's mainly it for now. Oh, boombo, flamebo. There you go. You got uh, explosives and uh, what is it? The plasma cannon. So you have that. Uh, I can do that last, because there's, like, way too many of those. SMGs, I mean, uh, attack, uh, ray gun, I guess that counts. 
a machine pistol, I think that's the combat SMG, uh, silence, uh, P90. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is this. What is it? What is it? I, this is the chapter scoped. Okay, scope burst. That was uh, chapter four. This is wrong. Why is there a gold regular SMG? That should be a P90. I'm pretty sure. What else we got? Oh, uh, there's the rapid fire. Uh, primal. Oh, it's the charge SMG, the twin mag SMG, the burst SMG. Yeah, so all the SMGs. So we're gonna go over to the other side here, which has the pistols, shotguns, and snipers. So first we have the pistols. So that's a combat pistol. I think this is the sidearm. Yep. Uh, primal pistol, deagle, uh, suppressed pistol, lock on pistol. Uh, what was this one? Was this the combat pistol? No, tactical pistol. Uh, scoped revolver, regular revolver, uh, dual suppressed pistol, six shooter, uh, regular pistol, flint knock. Yeah, so you got all the pistols. Oh, there's the dualies. The regular dualies, not the suppressed ones. Okay, shotguns. Shotgun. Okay, we have, uh, attack, double barrel, primal, uh, I think that was the havoc. Or the infiltrator. This is the havoc pump, I think. Thunder shotgun. Never mind. Two shot shotgun. Ranger shotgun. That was the Maven auto makeshift shotgun. Striker pump shotgun. A uh, drum shotgun. There's the dragon's breath. The combat. The original pump. Uh, the new version of the heavy shotgun because the old one got removed. Um, charge shotgun. Lever shotgun. What was this? Prime shotgun. There's way too many of these. And they're all, like, they're all either, they shoot fast or they shoot slow and do a lot of damage. I don't... Okay, snipers. Railgun. Uh, semi-auto. Storm scout. Uh, hunter burst. Or, uh, hunter bolty. I forget what that one is. Uh, suppressed. Thermal. Thermal DMR. Uh, explosive repeater rifle. Normal bolty. Heavy sniper. A hunting rifle. What is this? Lever action rifle. Cool. Okay, this is the is that automatic sniper or is this semi auto? No, the other one is the automatic. The gold one is the automatic one. So there is all those. So in terms of weapons, uh, those are consumables. There's also heals. But basically every mythic in the game right now, there is way too many. Like, there's a lot of mythic weapons from all varieties. And then you got the exotics in here. Still waiting for like the three ones, you know, three ones I want. Uh, what is it? The unstable bow, the uh, flight knock pistol, and the dub. Which I think the dub is coming creative anyway, so like, no, that one doesn't count. Still want it though. Uh, consumables. Basically, it's not just consumables, it's also everything I didn't know where to put. Uh, why is that there? Uh, yeah, so, like, uh, there's the, uh, what is it, the sentry, uh, the grappler, inflatable, shield, bubble, saw blade, C4, coal, bush, boomerang, uh, scythe, clinger, Impulse, uh, both versions of the flare gun, falcon, recon scanner, grapple glove, uh, what is it, stink bombs and boogie bombs, uh, firefly, bush bomb, uh, yeah, all the grapplers, you got, uh, the mythic and normal versions of the grapple glider, and the mythic and normal versions of the regular grappler, uh, dynamite, proximity, uh, proximity mines, creeping cardboard, uh, was that the kinetic blade, 
Bandage Bazooka, Shockwaves, uh, Snowman. There was one here I missed. Crash pads. And you got like the little paint bombs there. And then in here you got like the heels. Chug Jug, Spicy uh, spicy Fish, fish, Vendetta Flopper, uh, Shield Pot, uh, Stink Fish, Snowman Fish, Chili Chug Splashes, Pizza, Meat, uh, slurp fish, shield fish, pizza, minis, guzzle juice, uh, rift fish, shield fish, normal flopper, banged bazooka again because I moved it over here but forgot to remove it over there. Uh, hot flopper or hot? Yeah, I think it's hot flopper. Thermal fish, Midas fish, medkit. Uh, both versions of the slap splashes, shield uh, keg, cuddle. I don't know, but I don't think that's even a heel technically. Uh, cube fish. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, that is a lot of stuff. But anyway, we're gonna head over here to presets, where you can just click a button and get a preset loot set. So we have, um, the me combo, which is, uh, something I used to use, uh, when I was younger, back in the original map. Uh, the LMG combat shotgun, uh, heavy sniper, dance grenades, and, uh, boogie bombs. This is something I'd use now. I probably swap out the combat shotgun, but other than that, yeah, and not the grappler because it's broken right now. Oh, we got Zim's combo. This is what he wants or what he would use. He's got a uh, suppress scar, uh, original pump, the Excalibur rifle, which is annoying because it explodes, and it's a uh, it, it's like a clinger gun basically. It. I don't know, it's like the same thing as the sticky grenade launcher, what do you think about it? Uh, SMG and shockwave bow, I don't know why you wouldn't just use shockwave grenade launcher. Speaking, <laughs> speak of the shockwave grenade launcher. Uh, okay, we got the, the MK Alpha, I don't know if I actually added that. Uh, the Havoc shotgun, got the Excalibur rifle again, uh, the Stinger SMG, and the shockwave launcher. So I guess I'll take, oh yeah, I'm going to press that button, uh, that activates a secret, but I'm going to right now go up here and go to this vending machine, because, uh, the next item in this rotation should be the, yep, the, uh, shockwave grenade launcher. And in terms of the secret, I just activated with that button. What it actually is, is you go into the sniper's room. And you can see this little uh, thing from the original map that you may or may not have seen in the video. Like the first map I made, I don't even know if I included this in the original video. I don't think I did, because that was like a long time ago. I think that's like before I started using Twitch to record my videos. So it's old, and my voice is like pre-puberty, so it I might have to redo that video actually. But like... Uh, you got this room from the first map, and this, uh, little, like, uh, I think it's from the abductor's jump pad. So you can jump on it, and it takes you to, uh, the map Beat Up Battlefield. Which kind of sucks, not gonna lie. I probably should have designed this one better. Like, it's really bad. I think it actually looks better as, uh, like, the, the green and the blue, like this part. Because this is, uh... Like, there was an event, I made a little mini-event for the previous map where it, uh, blew up. So this is, like, all the green and the blue is, like, what's left of the original map, and then all this, like, weird stone and wood, that's, like, replacement parts. And then, uh, basically, if you wanted to fight like you were on the original map, it, here you go. And then you could walk over here into the little space. And, oh, lag. Yep, you're back. There's also a secret if you get up on uh, that that platform up there. You can get, like, outside of the map. It's actually intentional. Weird, I know. But, you know, since I don't have 1,000 subs, I cannot uh, publish the map. So it doesn't matter. Because... 
uh, no one would actually go outside the map unless they were playing around. But finally, after 15 minutes of rambling, 15, uh, yeah, 15 straight minutes of yapping for no reason, uh, we have the actual, like, normal map that you go to when you want to 1v1 someone. So, uh, basically you have two rifts and there's two sides to the spawn and one of them each takes you to each side. So I'm just gonna hop into one. Oh. Yeah, and here we are. This is the 1v1 arena. So instead of just making the, you know, like the classic, like, uh, what's it? Made the map a battle royale map, but it's actually a 1v1 map. So, like, what if the 1v1 arena was a battle royale map? And that's basically what I did. So, I actually made specific point of interest on the uh, thing here. And for right now, they're just prefabs with some decorations. I'm sure, like, later on, I'll probably end up making, like, actual unique uh, buildings or whatever. But for right now, all the buildings are just prefabs. But anyway. Oh, and uh, I also need to mention that the map will update like a Battle Royale map. I haven't exactly planned for like what updates I make. Or I'll make. I know why those updates would happen. Like I've got a story plan out. Weird, I know. The like. Uh, I know how to make this, uh, like an event, I guess. It's not, it wouldn't be a very crazy live event. I don't know. I'd basically just, like, get Zim to do a thing, and then that determines what goes where. But, uh, yeah, this is the map. So, you can't actually break anything, because it's still a 1v1 map. It's not a Battle Royale map. Even with the POIs. But, uh... We have nine point of interests. Uh, we have uh, Moisture Marsh, Fungal Forest, Frosty Fortress, uh, Crimson Caverns, Battle Point Bridge, Giant's Glacier, S uh, Skeleton Steps, Western World, and Cuddle Corner. I I think the names are actually pretty alright. I don't think any of them are necessarily bad. Uh. Yeah, so starting with Battle Point Bridge originally, uh, this was all that there was, the Battle Point Bridge, this uh, bridge part here, that's all there was. But I later said, well screw that, I want to make cool stuff. So I made POIs. So now we have nine. But it's just like the prefab, the bridge from the, uh, what is it, the Citadel, like area. It, it's literally nothing special whatsoever. It, it's just the Citadel bridge. There's actually a little secret here. I keep adding secrets to my maps to fight Zim. He's too good at the game. Uh, you can actually blow that up, which is like the only thing you can do in the map, because like everything else, no damage. That one, that one ceiling, you can uh, actually like damage and blow out. Holy crap! If I could get into uh, this room up here in the bridge. Oh, I saw the mantle button there for a second. Alright, well, this is not working. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, it's just the inside of the bridge from the Citadel. There's, like, nothing crazy up here. Normally, what you just end up doing is, like, doing that, and then, like, y yes, you get the idea all the way. Just do, like, ramp wall all the way over to that side. But I'm, I don't feel like doing that, because that's unnecessary. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so, that's Battle Point Bridge. Uh, next up is Crimson Cabins. This is... This is probably one of my least favorite POIs. Because it's, like, just some red grass, some red and pink trees, and then, like... Uh some weeping woods and uh what is the other location uh lonely lodge prefabs i think this one is a lonely lodge prefab 
That's nothing too special. I, there's like some spider webs I cleared out. There's nothing like too big in terms of modifications. Uh, this is the watchtower from the uh, Weeping Woods prefabs. So, yeah, this is that. It's a little bit different because normally, like, you'd go around. But I had to make, like, this because of the the wall, like, the the uh, the border here, you can't go past it, and normally the, the entrance would be on, like, this side, so I had to, like, move everything around to make the entrance here and the stairs over there, so this is, like, the most modifications I've done on a prefab, probably. This, I think, is a Weeping Woods prefab. I think so, yeah. It's just like a little mini hut. Uh, we have uh, moisture marsh. Oh, there's a there's a grind vine along the uh, edge here. But we have a little uh, river, which you can see that yeah, it glitches because it's actually uh, what is it? The water. You, you might be able to see it. There's the water block element down there. From like the element cube gallery which for some reason is broken when you stand on it so yeah as you can see uh, I used the water device to make the the marsh I added some fog effects this is uh, this is a prefab cabin I think it's like actually I forget what it's called but you know like even though I'd made it a few hours ago like I said I'm tired so. Uh, you can run up this vine, it'll shoot you across here. Really, it's a novelty, considering, like, you're gonna be fighting someone in a 1v1. And I mean, like, if you want to 1v1 someone legitimately, just don't leave the bridge. But, uh, next up, actually, I should probably get a better view. This is my favorite point of interest, uh, the skeleton steps. Which, I made this. This actually doesn't use any prefabs. This I made with the arid modular materials. That looks wrong. Oh my god, what... What is this? Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to fix all that. But this I made with the arid modular, uh... Like... Uh, props like the all the rocks and the skeleton and I made sure that you can like climb on it you can like if you didn't have any mobility items you could climb up top and you can jump into the skeleton you can like sit in here and like snipe at people it's not a sniper but you get it like People. Obviously, this could be more than a 1v1 map. You could have a battle royale with any weapon you wanted on this map. So, like, you know. But, yeah, that it's like, it's the least interesting POI skeleton steps, but it's definitely my favorite just because of the design. It's really cool. Yeah. 23 minutes, wow, this is gonna be like 30 minutes, because I'm only like halfway through the POIs, or like a third of the way. Uh, this is a bunch of prefabs as well, these are the, uh, the Wild West prefabs, this is, uh, Western World, so we have, uh, the Billions Bank, actually, this is, I mean, I didn't make too many modifications to this, what I did is I, like, got rid of all the extra, like, desks. I put a wall here, because that used to be, like, a door. Because it was, like, a broken... What it was, it was a broken one of these. Like, these teller stands. So I just said, screw it. I got rid of it. Uh, and I, there's, like, a broken wall back here that I fixed. So, this is nothing too special, but it's that's the one I think I made the most modifications to. Uh, these aren't very interesting. Just a bunch of junk in there. 
literally just a desk. Okay, that's just coffin. Uh, yeah, desk, barrels, this is the outside. This over here is the sheriff's office, uh, the jail cell, desk, barrels, uh, bench. And then, I don't even know what this is supposed to be, it's like a clock tower, you got a bunch of chairs, like an AA meeting or something. And then you got, uh, yeah, that, there's literally nothing interesting up there, it's just two benches. But, you know, probably one of the worst ones. You know what, since it's right here, uh, we'll go to Cuddle Corner. So I used the, uh, the Cuddle Tree here. It's actually a pretty nice tree. See that there's lore, lore, uh, here's some of the lore. There's a Midas hand on this door. Lore door. It's a lore door. So I... Yeah, this is blocked off. You can't get in here at all. That That is blocked off. And what I did is I, I actually mixed in some uh, different items for the uh, the foliage. So th this tree, this like bright pink one, is like the cherry tree from like uh, Lucky Landing type stuff. These darker ones with the like oranges or pink leaves, these are color uh, colorable trees like the ones over there in Crimson Cabins. Uh, these bushes, these pink ones, are from the Invasion Gallery, like the uh, Chapter 2 Season 8. No, Chapter 2 Season 7, that's Invasion. Chapter 2 Season 8 is cubed. Uh, chapter 2 Season 7 uh, bushes, same thing here. Uh, with the little plants. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. But, uh, next up is Giant's Glacier. And, uh, just like, um, Skeleton Steps, I wanted to make sure that you can mantle climb, uh, to the top if you didn't have any items. I don't know why I can't get up here. There you go. This is a prefab. It's one of the, uh, the ice houses. This, that's a prefab, that's a prefab. This is the, uh, little ice bridge. And then... Uh, this one up here is the, uh, little house that has, like, the gingerbread on top of it. There's actually two sides to it, but I got rid of it because it was, like, being weird. I don't... I don't know how to further explain. Ooh, is that a lore? Is that lore over there? Is that lore? There's a bunker over there. Uh, we have Frozen, or not Frozen Fortress, Frosty Fortress. I made a different POI called Frozen Fortress that I think is actually worse than this one. But anyway, uh, yeah, I connected the arches to the, I think it's the fortress, not the fort. But anyway, you can I actually use the same prefab on a different map. So I know, like, I think I know where I'm going. Yep, up here. And here's the throne. Uh, this is actually, I actually expanded this because the throne would stick to the ceiling. So I moved the ceiling up one. If you actually look at it from here, it actually doesn't look too unnatural because I covered it up like that. So it actually looks uh, natural. Like if you were to jump up. If you didn't know that was an extension, you probably wouldn't know this. Next is, uh, Fungal Forest. Pretty bland POI. Just got the, uh, Vibin Mushrooms from Chapter 3, Season 2. Was it Season 2? I think it's actually Season 3. I forget what Season 2 is. It was mid. That's what it was. Because season four was the uh, the weird chrome stuff. I'm pretty sure season three was vibin. 
That's what the season was called. So you got the uh, mushrooms from that season. Uh, you got the same watchtower from over there. The uh, the one at Crimson Cabins. But this one's slightly different. Uh, it has the uh, little... It has that the little foliage on it. And I actually cleared out the interior except for this one hat. Uh... Got the interior here, which is actually just full of boxes, because, like, this one isn't finished yet. Like, they haven't moved in properly. So, that one, that one's not done. And I think that's actually the final POI. Yeah, th this is just, like, oh, yeah, and I, I don't think I mentioned where all the grass comes from. Yeah, this... Where, where's the problem? Here, yeah, that's... That's a problem. But it will be fixed. I'm gonna do that off camera. So, yeah, that was the sequel to Fight Mezim Chapter 2. I... If this video gets, I don't know, views, like, I assume it's gonna get, like, two views, just like the one from before, but, uh, if it gets views, then I'll make update videos when I change the map, but for right now, uh, these are the nine POIs on the main map, and then you just have the original Fight Mizim map over there in the corner, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the map, you have any gun you want. Uh, make sure to like if you like the video, and, uh, subscribe, I guess, if you want more content. Because I have an acceptable upload schedule, I think. When was the last time I uploaded, and when was the last time, uh, I uploaded Sonic CD? I don't know, probably, like, three months ago. I... I, I don't actually know if I'm gonna finish the Sonic CD Let's Play. Because every time I start a Let's Play, I just don't finish it. Like, if you kept track for some reason, then you would know. So yeah, like and subscribe. And, uh... I'll see all of you in the next YouTube video. Goodbye.